So now our little Fitz Caraldo has got ears. I will have my opera house. I will have my opera house. So um, now we need to give him some arms and a tail. We're going to stuff all three of them. Just do it at the same time. Remember, you usually put more stuffing in them than you think you're going to need. And then we're just going to whip stitch them on. So I'm going to just start um, doing stuffing. You know, when you stuff something long like this, sometimes it's helpful to use something long to get that stuffing in there. So for example, you could use the end of a wooden spoon. I'm going to use the Sharpie to just kind of poke stuffing kind of down in the bottom and you have to kind of, you know, sort of work it in there. I mean, actually the sharpening's not, Sharpie's not working that well right now. So why don't I do this? I got, use my finger and I'm just going to kind of work this little tube kind of up my finger and you really have to just kind of work from the tip down. Don't put a lot of stuffing in there in the beginning and then try to get it to the bottom. You have to kind of do it sort of little by little. So now I got the tip of the tail and grab some more. You'll be amazed how much stuffing sometimes, if you've never done something like this before, you'll be amazed how much stuffing you can put into something. I mean, you know, like uh, we're probably not going to use this whole bag, but you know, if we had all the stuffing from something like this on the table, you might think there's no way all that stuffing's going into that one little sock monkey. But in fact, um, you know, I've already put a lot into this. Let's see, what is this? This is the tail here. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to stuff all three of these before I whip stitch them on. But once that's done, they go on the same way that the ears did.